if you be writing a ECZ, expect a question on probability in paper two. Okay, so a question will definitely come on probability that is in paper two. And there is just a very simple trick that you you need to know in order for you to be answering every probability exam question. Okay? That is in paper two, or that comes in paper two. The simple trick that you need to know is a tree diagram. So if you don't know how to sort out or work out a tree diagram, then uh, you may be facing a uh, uh, a little bit of some difficulties because a tree diagram um, helps us um, answer a question like this one okay in a simpler manner okay here I, I, I just want to give you an idea of how a tree, a tree diagram is done let's say you've been given uh, four red pens and uh, three blue pens and they want you to put this in a tree diagram form, whereby they have said these pens are in a box and they want you to select, okay, select two without a replacement. So what is the probability of um, maybe getting uh, both pens being red or blue or different pens so the first thing that must be coming in your mind like i said earlier on is the the tree diagram you construct a tree diagram so a tree diagram comes about as a result of uh, checking what you've been given. So I've been given two things here. There is red and blue. So we have two things. So meaning we have two tails. So I have this and that. Okay? Two. If there are three items, we would have put three tails. So now, uh, here, we will say this is the red and this is the blue. This one and this one, just like that. So when you do that, they are saying it's two. These two mean, means it will be done twice. So the same thing must be repeated. Okay. So these two or these two, at the end of red here, Ara, you do the same thing too. End of uh, blue, you do the same. So meaning this will be our red, blue, red, blue. Just like that. Okay. So now this is where we need to be very careful now. Once you have constructed, this is it, stage one up to here, uh, stage two up to here, okay? So these, there are just two probabilities in the first round. Second round, there are four probabilities, okay? So I'll say, um, identify the numerator and the denominator, okay? So this is numerator, the number that will be on top of the fraction. And the number that will be below is a uh, denominator. So our numerator will be what you've just been given, 4 or 3. This is our numerator and this also is our numerator. For our denominator, we get these two numerators, add them. So it's a 4 plus a 3. We're getting a, what, a 7. Hopefully you are following. So now once you do this, in the first round, we have uh, the original denominator, this denominator, the one we have found. In the second round, the denominator will reduce. So you see what I've done? So just say 7 minus 1, 6, even here put a 6, 6, 6. In other words, subtract a 1 from the original denominator. That's in the second round. Okay. So now when you do this, this is where people, you need to be very careful. The first round is not difficult. Just find the denominator, put it there. And then the numerators, just follow. This four is for what? It's for red. So red is going up here. R is red. We put four. And then B there is blue. It's a three. Okay? We're done here. And we have a mark. We have a mark right here. Okay? If it's, this question is carrying 
three marks, you have a, a one mark here. Now we come to this. This is where people mess up. So I've got R here. This is red. Okay? And in a box, how many red pens do we have? There are four. If there are four, and one red has been picked, how many have we remained with? It's three. So meaning red would be three here. Now, if, if uh, we had three balls, I mean three pens in the box, and red was picked first, after picking red, you pick blue. What is the probability of picking blue? It will just be a three. This same three, don't change it because it was red and the th uh, blue has not been picked yet here. Okay? We are done there. We come to this one. Almost the same thing. So in the first place, you picked blue. What are you going to pick in the second place if you picked blue? It will be the same red here. Not really what are you going to pick. Uh, what number or uh, yeah, what number are you going to have here in red? In, in other words, to pick red. Red has not been picked. It was blue. So red has maintained the four. So just maintain the four. Here we have got it, blue. Picking blue. If we have picked blue, what number do we have here for blue? It will be a two because it was three. And then we picked one. We remained with two of them so for us to pick it, this uh, blue. So that's how it's done. No, now, if they say, what is the probability of picking red, red? Here, red, red. So, red, red. So, uh, for red, in the first place, we picked red there. It was 4 over 2. And then we say times. If it's red, red, uh, red, red, you need to multiply this by this. Okay? You multiply. So what are we getting here if you want to find the red red? So you can get your calculator if you don't want to be wasting much of your time. And then you just say 4. You press on 4. Hopefully you'll be able to see 4 here. And then this sign means divide. Okay? By or over. This is over. Over 7, which is the same as it. Divide. And then you say times 3 over 6. What are we getting? We're getting 2 over 2 over 7. So this is the probability of picking a red, red. If they say, what is the probability of picking different colors? So different colors, we have got a red, blue, blue, red. Okay? So there are two of them. So for different colors there, it will be those two. So it will be red, blue, okay? You can see this red, blue, plus uh, blue, sorry, blue, red, which will be equal to red, blue. So red, it is a 4 over 7, okay? Times, remember, same line we multiply, times blue there is a 3 over 6, so these two, three over six, okay? And then we'll say plus, okay? Plus, this plus. Blue, it was three over seven times the other, the, the red here, because it's blue, red. So red is a four over six, just like that. And when we work out there, what are we getting? Just do the same on your calculator. You can even start with the brackets. Four. I want to calculate this. It is four over seven times three over six. Close. Plus. Open bracket. Three over seven times four over six. Like that. It will be seven, uh, four over seven. So our answer here will be four over seven. So this is uh, the answer that we will get. Okay. Hopefully you have gotten that idea. Now let's try to answer this exam question which came in 20, 2016. 